exploring. Most of the time when we're walking into a store, we're not really thinking about what's below us or what we're walking on. But in a lot of the videos I talk about, I talk about creating a vibe, creating a customer experience um, when walking into a retail space. In choosing the flooring that we chose for this space, like many other aspects of it, uh, of the store build out, like the ceiling, the, the walls, the counters, uh, the flooring was incredibly important. So for this build out, unlike the last build out that we did, which we did like a cement, a polished concrete look, we actually laid down a wood tile here. The tiles were approximately six inches, um, six inches I would say high, six, six to eight inches high by about three foot wide. So they're pretty long planks. Installing these things was a lot more challenging than I expected them to be. Um, and the reason for that was when we lay them down, they would kind of like, the wings on them would pop up. So we had to use a really, really um, good quality and high latex content uh, mortar to put it down. That's all technical stuff. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna walk you in, I'm gonna show you what, this, what it looks like. Um, I was a little concerned with, honestly, before I walked you in, I wanna talk about the, the, the contrast of wood between that maple block counter and the flooring. I was a little concerned with the variance in the grain, but uh, it just sometimes these things click and I think, I think we succeeded in getting something down that really looked good. So come on in, I wanna show you what it looks like. Follow me. The type of flooring that we chose is a Brazilian, it's called Brazilian pecan. All right, the, the name is, uh, is, is as exotic, the name is as exotic as the type of flooring that it is and the look and feel of it. Look at this grain and color variance in it. When I first saw this, man, I, I fell in love with it in the hardwood version. And unfortunately, in an environment like this, when it comes down to hardwood, you can't really install a hardwood type of material in a, in a moisture-rich, um, sandy environment like this is. Like we're right on the boardwalk, people are walking in. There's a lot of moisture in the air. They're coming in with, with, with sand. It just wouldn't hold up. So what I did was I chose the next best thing, which I really fell in love with. It's this tile. These are, the planks are about six inch by 30, 36 inches wide. You can see that right over here. All right, each plank is a variant. Each one is different. Every one of the planks is, is different um, for the most part. Uh, so what we did was we, we let it do exactly what it does, which is give you kind of a, a, a mishmash, a mix match of variants within the flooring. So we, I think we, we succeeded in installing this thing and it looks really, really good so far. One thing to note when installing a material like this, the install process is not, late, is not buying the tile and sticking it on the floor. Um, I learned a lot about flooring doing this. The install process is really a subfloor issue. Uh, there was a lot of challenges installing this floor. A lot more than I would have expected, honestly. Um, especially with the length of these tiles. So I want to walk you through. I want to show you what this looks like. I want to show you the variant. And I want to take you over here and show you what he's doing with grout. So we can see the actual process. So right now the tile has been laid. That's why we can walk on it. It's a few days of curing time. Um, it's pretty, we're covering it up after today so we can continue to work on the store. But right now what he's doing is he's actually filling the grout line within it. So like you can see, right, I want to show you a grout line that's not been done. Look right over here. This is a grout line that's not been done. Right over here in this area right there. Okay, and this is a grout line that has been done. If you can look and see that this color is like as perfect as it gets. Once you fill it, you're really not paying attention to those grout lines. You're not really seeing them. And um, I think it came, out, it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way things came out. Um, the most important thing when laying down this tile is really to get somebody that knows what they're doing. There's too many variables. It's not, for me, it's above my capability. If I didn't have the right person installing it, uh, I would not do it, put it that way on my own. It's just too, there's too many, there's too many variables. The, the subfloor variable, the fact that it bows up on both sides, there's a lot more to it than just buying the tile and sticking it on the floor. It's a lot more of a process, especially when you're dealing with the cost of the material. 
uh, this stuff is, is pretty expensive for tile. So that's a shot of the whole flooring. This is a shot of the end work to get this done right now. Even grouting it is a process. we're coming together. We're crawling, but we're getting there every day, step by step. So I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. I think we're really gonna give people a, a nice environment for them to shop and spend some time with their families. So I'm excited about being able to do that. Thank you for joining us on this. I hope that the next video that we put out is a video of the grand opening and getting this place together because I can't wait to open the doors and get these customers in here. Thanks for tuning in.